Hi, I'm Nicola West, I'm a wedding celebrant and I would like to put this little video um, as consideration for my um, nomination for Celebrant of the Year for the South Central um, sort of regional uh, wedding industry awards. Now, I have brought you along to a wedding today. I've brought you to the wedding of Charlotte and Andrew and you can see I'm in a beautiful barn um, beautiful venue itself as well. It is um, Stratton Court Barn, which is close to Bicester, between Bicester and Buckingham, really beautifully located in the middle of the countryside, but close enough for everyone to get to. The wonderful thing about this venue is it's so flexible. They have the most um, beautiful grounds. You can do a woodland wedding, you can do anything you want here, but this French inspired barn is, I think, what draws most of the couples to here. Anyway, I'm not talking about the venue. For the nomination I'm talking about me. So as a wedding celebrant I have worked with Charlotte and Andrew now for about 18 months on this ceremony. They have two beautiful readings, they've written their own vows with my help and have created a wedding ceremony that is about them. They wanted it to be a celebration of the 10 years that they've been together and what a way to celebrate with 50 of their closest family and friends on a day where the sun is actually shining. You can probably see it just coming through there after days of rain, so that's really exciting. Why am I a celebrant? So I can do this, so I can bring love and joy and happiness to people's wedding ceremonies, so I give them choice, so that they don't have to have an insert name here, um, standardized wedding ceremony. They can have something that's about who they are. And that's exactly what I have done for Charlotte and Andrew. They're both quite shy, they're both quite uh, reserved. So today, um, their ceremony is tailored exactly to them. They didn't want to be, well, they want to be centre of attention for their wedding day, but they don't want that full pomp and circumstance. Wonderful, I've done that. I've made sure that I've created a wedding ceremony that incorporates those moments for them where they feel comfortable. Um, that's the most important thing, is working with my couples to ensure that every moment of their ceremony is exactly how they want it to be. From the very moment I welcome their guests to the moment they walk down the aisle, every second of that ceremony we've worked, to, we've worked together on. I've ensured that the wording, the placement, everything is exactly how they want it to be and what a joy it gives me to be able to do that. So. Today, um, as I say, I'm currently just about to ready to do this ceremony. I guess we're going to be coming in in a minute. Um, but I wanted just to bring you along. I'm going to add to this video in a little while, but I'll be back for part two. Speak to you soon. Bye for now. So one of the things I like to do for my couples is create special things for them. So I always create their wedding uh, vow booklets, uh, wedding certificates. Um, and I also create a very special uh, keepsake box that I give them at the end of the ceremony. By doing this, the keepsake box um, has a copy of their wedding ceremony in it, all beautifully uh, wrapped in vellum paper um, and a nice little bow, but it also is a place for them to put their wedding certificate, their vows, readings, etc. <clears throat> now, when it comes to the readings, I also print those out for my couples. I like to ensure that during a ceremony, all those little moments are thought about, no phones, no bits of paper, proper, beautifully printed out, vow booklets, readings, etc. So that all the way through, the aesthetic is gorgeous. I like to ensure that every moment is thought about and how it's going to look, not just for the guests, but also for the photographer and the videographer. So that when my couple are looking back over their wedding, they can see all of those little details and how it makes so much difference. Standing with a reading in a beautifully um, created reading uh, booklet for somebody is much better than standing with your phone. So I'm just gonna grab the reading booklet I've just created for today. So this is Helen's and I've matched the color to the, uh, the color of the ribbon to the actual um, colors of the wedding and printed out the reading for the couple. Um, this is lovely because Helen, when she comes up to read, she will take this, she'll read from it, and then it will go into my couple's um, keepsake box, which I create for them. Um, 
So here it is, just a little keepsake box that I've put together. It's again matched with their ribbons, little wax seal on there. I like a bit of a flourish. You've got to have a bit of a flourish. But the other thing I do during the ceremony is keep out of the way. And obviously I'm part of the ceremony, but there are certain moments where I step out of the way when they're reading their vows, when they're exchanging rings. I like to be to one side so that I'm not in the middle when they're just about to do that first kiss. I think it's so important. Um, I was a wedding planner for a very long time and, you know, all of us in the wedding industry know that there's those moments within a ceremony that, you know, they matter. Um, and that first kiss photo and those rings as well, when you're exchanging rings, um, it's really lovely not to have a person standing in the middle because then photographer, videographer captures all those special little moments between the couple. And I tell you, they create some beautiful moments. Anyway, for now, I'm going to get off. Part three is going to be coming because I've got to get ready for the wedding. I'll see you soon. So part three, I am back from Andrew and Charlotte's wedding and it went beautifully. Couple were really happy. Guests were complimentary. I love it when I'm um, leaving a venue and I get sort of, you know, questions from guests and also just, you know, wow, that was amazing, etc. But the one thing that was the most important part of that ceremony was the content. Not just where I place things, not just how the rings are done or the rest of it, what's said. And what is said is every word that the couple have asked me to say. Um, from the very beginning, when I meet my couples or we have a chat over Zoom, I'm taking notes on how they interact. I'm taking notes on what they're like as a couple and just sort of little highlight bits. And then when we meet and we get to know each other a little bit more, I love that meeting where we just, you know, go and have a drink or go and have a coffee or they come over to my office um, or I go and see them at home and we just relax and chat. And it's a really good way because it's a way of them getting to feel more comfortable with myself and also vice versa because, you know, I'm working for this gorgeous couple. When I work at the beginning, so, you know, we've started the process, they've all the bookings done. Six months before their wedding, Andrew and um, Charlotte, along with all my other couples, get sent out homework. Now I do this little homework thing. Homework is some questionnaires. It's the first one is about the ceremony itself. It is about the content as in, you know, what kind of feel they want, whether they want traditional, whether they want themed, whether they've got any ideas they want to include themselves, separate from the things I've already sort of spoken to them about. Um, who are the important people in their wedding? Bridesmaids, groomsmen, um, parents, if there are any sort of, you know, names I should know, because all of those are really important. So when I start writing the ceremony, it helps me personalize it even more. The welcome makes such a difference when I know groom's mum's name or, you know, bride's dad, when he's um, about to sort of come up and do the, um, you know, the traditional, if they want the traditional sort of, you know, um, handing to the bride, you know, who gives this bride away. Um, the other thing, the other part of the homework is about their love story, where they met, when they knew this was it, when they just, you know, what they love about each other, the adventures they've been on, the life that they've built together, um, what they love about each other, what they admire about each other. And I also say what you don't like about each other. Now, that question, and I always say brackets, keep it light, because it's great to just add that little bit of humour somewhere if it's, you know, if it will work, i.e., you know, today, um, Andrew admitted to being the messiest person going, where Charlotte is a bit of a control freak. But I didn't say Andrew and Charlotte, I said one of them is known to be very messy, where the other, you know, can be a little bit controlling and wants everything a certain way. However, they balance each other out. That wasn't the exact words I say, but I would never directly name a person in that moment, because the idea is, not to embarrass anyone, but just to bring in a little bit of fun here and there. There's little nuggets that we put through. The whole of the, the homework that I asked them to fill in, they can either do as a date night together uh, or they do it separately. And the feedback I've had has been amazing. The way that they um, have interacted with each other. And also if a couple have been together for a long time, I'm asking them to think about their life together and to remember those moments that were important to them and they love the fact that you know it was a real for them reminiscing and bringing those wonderful feelings back to the forefront so with all of that information and the time that we spent together I then work on their ceremony I spend time 
making notes, bringing all my little bits of information together, working out what they want. So if I've, you know, we've spoken about whether they would like some kind of set, uh, ritual or they want um, sand ceremony or they would like to include a hand tying or love letter box or just lots and lots of different options or whether they just want it to be readings and vows and a lovely certificate signing. However it's going to be, I work on that. I create their ceremony. I do the first draft of their love story. I send it over to them to read. And then I incorporate it in the rest of the wedding ceremony, which I then send over for them to read as a whole. Because the love story is something that I think is the first part has, to, well, it all has to be correct. But it's good to be able to nail that down and for the couple to feel comfortable. I also work through the whole love, well, the, the rest of the wedding using some of the lines and some of the words that were given to me within the homework. It personalizes it even that, that much more. But at the end of the day, I'm creating a wedding ceremony that is for my couple, about my couple, and truly celebrates my couple. And that's why I love being a celebrant. And that's why I love what I do. I get to help bring dream wedding ceremonies to life. Whether it be at a wedding venue like it was today, or whether I be in somebody's garden, or whether it be in a woodland, wherever my couple want, it, want to hold their ceremony, I get to do that. Um, and there's just something so glorious um, about, one, in a way, the responsibility of that, but also being able to be there to bring that to life and knowing that you have helped create a special moment within the beginning of their ceremony. A moment that the guests aren't just sitting there going, when are we getting to the bar? Because they've already heard the ceremony, i.e. registrar, insert name here. It's a moment where they are engaged. They are wanting to know what's going to happen next. It's a moment that after um, they've done the confetti shot and they're all having drinks, guests are talking about the ceremony. My bride and groom are, or my couple are, um, chatting about what happened and on their honeymoon they're reflecting over it it is about creating a moment that they hold on to forever and I am so fortunate to do what I do now I'm going to stop talking I want to thank you for considering me for um, finalist uh, for the wedding industry award celebrant of the year um, I you can probably tell I love what I do I am so fortunate to be able to do what I do and to work with some gorgeous couples and I have my fingers tightly crossed and I'm going to say goodbye to, for now and as I always say I'll see you on the other side bye guys <laughs>